To set your rate profile, hover over the gears and choose rates. This will open the rate settings page. The first step is to define the name of the billing profile. For this example, we'll call this utility XYZ. Next, define the start date of your current billing period. This date may vary from month to month and bill to bill, so just choose an average. For this example, we'll use the first of the month, and we're billed on a bi-monthly schedule. The next step is to define the rate structure. To add a new rate structure, choose Add, and you'll see a new entry is added to the list. The next step is to choose when these rates take effect. We'll set these rates to start at the beginning of the year. Next, define how the electricity consumption is charged. This can be either fixed price, tiered, or time of use pricing. For our example, we'll use fixed pricing. And the final step is to define whether or not you're charged seasonally. If your utility charges the same rates year round, choose no. Otherwise, choose yes and define the number of seasons. For this example, we'll use two seasons, winter and summer. The start and end dates can be adjusted to match your utility seasonal rates. A rate tab will be added for each season, in this case winter and summer. The content of these tabs depend on the rate structure. In our example we use fixed. The final tab, other fees, allow you to define additional fees that are charged by your utility. These can be fixed per bill fees, variable per kilowatt fees, adjustment factors and additional fees based on an adjusted kilowatt value, taxes and rebates. When you're happy with your rate profile, choose done and the new rates will be applied.